All right, what's going on? Going to be showing off some of the setups that I use today and, uh, you know, why I use those setups. To start off, for pretty much all the classic levels, I understand that there are maximum efficiency farming setups, but considering that I'm at a stage in the game where I pretty much don't care about any resource and my farming of classic levels or my completes of classic levels are literally just for the weekly achievements to get more mythic gems for the inevitable 3 million bajillion uh, mythic rolling video. I honestly just use Horus and Jiraiya, right? I'm okay. So <laughs> the reason I use like Horus over Sweetie is because I'm really used to just scrolling down all the way to the bottom, like really quickly to pick up mythic. So the Horus Jiraiya is like the frame of the maximum efficiency farming setups in classic levels. And they're literally the only two units I use most of the times when I do farm classic levels or I get, you know, my nightmare completes for the weekly achievements or I get my completes for other levels. The only time I do like normally use the sort of maximum efficiency farming setup in the classic levels is for King 1-5 when there's a special that I want to three star, right? I might want to three star um, a special sometime. And in that case, I do go for this sort of a maximum setup with as much global damage as possible and a bunch of mythics and really strong units. But to be completely honest, most of the time, I don't, you know, I never go for this setup. I just use a nice Horus Jiraiya. That really gets the job done, right? That's what makes this setup work that's the backbone of the maximum efficiency farming setups that's what gets the clears that's what that's where most of the attacks are happening and um you know those are i guess the most important units in your farming setup overall right but again sometimes i do go for this uh more um yeah i go for this maximum efficiency efficiency farming setup when i do want to look to do king one five sometimes although that is a pretty uh uncommon occurrence i would say most of the time just horus jiraiya get my completes for the weekly achievements other than that the only time i really open the game or play the game is just for youtube videos and you know talking or background gameplay and all that stuff so those are my setups for the classic levels other than the uh challenge setups of course where i do some weird stuff in jr nightmare but the other setups i use um you know in the challenges here in evil summoner i don't really go for any sort of set um, a specific layout i usually just let auto play for me and i usually get triple s rank anyways master's challenge i never play because it's a useless challenge for iqt i have all the iqt evolutions already so i don't really farm iqt at all however when i do go for i guess you know a round or two of iqt just for fun i usually go for this sort of raw setup with anubis plus um susanu of course zeus carry in the middle which i will show in one second here and then there is a uh, sort of Amaterasu double buffs in the back to help speed up the farming a little bit, but that's not really as important as the front row for getting as many waves as possible. Honestly, this setup I used more when I was just getting my IQT completes for Evo Stones. I don't really use it now, but you know, when sometimes people ask me, you know, on stream or sometimes I just want to play IQT myself, I will uh, I will go for this setup here. And it's just a nice way to get pretty fast clears with the satisfying attack animations with the Zeus lightning chain again I don't really play that much IQT I don't really play that much of the other elemental challenges so I guess this is just a setup I go to when I do when I do play this challenge sometimes for volcano goddess I utilize a Jiraiya setup of course with hellhound Horus in the front row let me just find a hellhound right here another Horus on the right side where is Horus and of course Jiraiya in the middle as the main damage healer, I do use the uh, sort of high efficiency clear sort of thing with uh, with Soul Sidon instead of Devon in the left side here. I did get the setup from the unofficial Summoner's Creed Discord, which is linked on my channel page. But I have the Soul Sidon here. I believe I use an Anubis uh, paired with a Susanoo as well, just to get the Rock Summons back. Of course, Susanoo I always like to use in these sort of subs. I don't really use an Auto Clicker anymore. Right, I don't really find a need to use it at all, but Susanu still helps because I don't really want to babysit the game all the time and you know really really watch what's happening every second whether or not I need to rock summon or not. But yeah, Susanu just helps with that a little bit more. I honestly forgot. I think it's Deathbite on the left side here. I think I, you know, I haven't done Volcano Goddess in a while unless it was for like a random video or I just waited for all the rocks to break. But that was you know, we don't talk about that one. But yeah, I guess this would be my go-to Volcano Goddess setup. I believe this is capable of getting clears on hard mode without the addition of a Wednesday buff. So that's pretty good. But, you know, it's just a nice setup. Nice way to get clears, take down enemies, and um, 
play Volcano Goddess. And then for KPR, I do think KPR is a little bit more interesting than the other two elemental challenges. I did stock up on a bunch of the Evo stones for when the Lightning Evolutions do eventually release. I do want to get them on release to be able to showcase it on the channel here. And the setup I did use for uh, KPR to get all of those Evo gems is going to be an Amaterasu setup, right? I get Amaterasu here. Um, paired with a Hellhound, of course, to get the damage buff. Paired with a Speedy. I don't use Horus. They both have the same speed boost, except, you know, if I put a Horus here, Horus wouldn't be getting as much attack value. Instead, I go for a Horus in the mid row because then Horus will be able to attack enemies more. And, you know, it's the same speed boost anyways. Of course, comboed with the slow stun combo, utilizing Jiraiya and utilizing Zeus. I believe the Rock Breakers in KPR are Ice type, so I guess Zeus has an elemental advantage on them, but it doesn't matter that much considering that Zeus is not getting Hellhound buffed, which means that his damage will definitely fall off as the later stages start. And then in the front row here, I believe I utilize a Anubis alongside of a Death Spike, right? The insta kill combo, of course, with the Susanu as well, just to make sure that I can get those rocks back without having to spend gems or you know really watching the game that much but those are like the setups i mainly use right now again i don't really play the elemental challenges the setups i kind of displayed were like the high efficiency farming ones that i sometimes used or i used to use or i used to use sorry uh classic levels is of course just the jiraiya horse frame and then you know if i'm doing the summoning stone farming i will go into a more high efficiency farming setup but those are really just the main setups i use and the setups i focus on now again at a point in the game where i don't really need to farm for anything anymore i kind of have everything i need already so when i when i do play mythic gems special or uh just for just for fun in the elementals and of course with a bunch of different challenge setups as well that's gonna be it for this video just wanted to showcase these like subscribe and uh yeah see ya